Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? This is your man Spaceman Stu, aka the Black Fiend, Black Phoenix Productions. You're tuned in to the UAP radio show, the Underground Apocalypse Podcast Show, where we take the underground world and turn it upside down to the surface. It's what? Monday, and y'all already know what we in here doing. We in here live for the five. The five minute fickle, that is. And y'all already know what we in here doing. We in here with a special guest, B Legend Productions. What's going on, my brother? It's going good, going good, man. That's always good to hear, man. So, man, I have, um, I'm, I'm hearing that you're bringing some drone footage from the uh, the 828 area, I believe, all the way through the 704 area. Is that correct? That is correct, man. That is correct. Okay, so what what made you want to, before we get into this, uh, what made you want to do something like this? Man, I wanted to do this basically for everybody to get a different perspective because everybody's so used to seeing things ground level. So I just want to take it to the sky with everything. You know what I'm saying? All right. Take it above the average. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, this first this first place right here, I want you to go ahead and introduce this first place right here that we're doing, man. And tell us a little bit about this area. All right, this first area is called Far City, North Carolina. It's all where your country bumpkins, country bammers, everybody who like to live in much down from the south. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? All but, right. Hey, as you see right here in the first shot right here, we got me flying the drone with following the car. So that's one of the special features of the drone, actually. So along with that, I am featuring like an upscale view of what is happening and what the world looks like from the sky. Okay, pretty much like a chopper view of everything. Correct. You know, like WBTV, you know how they do the chopper views. Right, from, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, basically like that. Okay, so um, what 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 drove you to wanting to do something like this? Because, I mean, many people with a drone have um, different avenues that they can go through, but what made you want to do something like this and present as your final project? Oh, yes. Uh, as, this as a final project, I mean, people really don't know what they're looking at. They, they look at things through one perspective. Right. So I want to expand their visions. You know what I'm saying? So basically just open your eyes to what's been what what is already there. Right. Just an, another vantage point. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. So you get like an eagle eye view of what's going on. Bird's eye view. So you know, you may be flying with the birds, you know, soaring with the seagulls or something like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can dug it, my brother. Well, uh, this this first area right here, man, what I well, me personally what I like about this area is the, the trees. I'm 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 a nature type of guy and I see a lot of trees in this atmosphere and in this in this shot. So um let me let me ask you, what did you personally get from this experience of shooting this area? Oh, from shooting from this area i got a, like a most different perspective it's like it is really like one of those crisp feelings like ah rejuvenation rejuvenation type feelings like ah like wow i didn't know the world was like that right Now we're passing we're passing over hotels, different restaurants and different things of that nature in the area. So let me ask you this. Was it something that was significant to the area that you saw from an aerial view that you didn't know about previously? Exactly. Uh, now, to be mindful, I am standing in Walmart parking lot featuring all these shots. So it, it, my drone features like a good distance. Right. So as you see right here, we're at Shelby High School home of the Golden Lions. Woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, I'm a Golden that. Lion fan. Hey, graduated class of 08, baby. You know what I'm saying? Kings Mountain, North Carolina, 07. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, man. But Shelby, like, people see Shelby as, like, is, like, big. Nothing else is that outside of Shelby. Right. Eh, wrong. But just to get, like, a bird's eye view of what Shelby looks like, as you see, it, it, it's like indescribable is like you can't describe it it looks very peaceful one thing that I, i've gotten from the shots from from the shelby footage shelby footage is that it's it's a very peaceful environment there's not a lot of riffraff going on and everybody seems to keep to themselves you know people you know pretty much going to and from where they need to go and that's leaving a lot of room for uh 
I guess a peaceful environment, environment like you were describing it. Well, not not necessarily. It's, oh man, it's, <laughs> well, not necessarily what's going on happening today is you know we all see on our Facebook somebody got shot in Shelby, Shelby right. from the new ghetto and right. stuff like that. Man, you just want to get somebody like educational like look upon like what life looked like in the sky. You know, like say if you were soaring above. Okay. So 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 what made you want to? put the the vantage point of everybody pretty much above the ground level of everything i mean basically what i want what i want everybody to see is like there's like more to uh what you see more than what the eye sees right. it's like the eye is so used to being on the ground as i mean as i stated before so why don't we ex- uh, expand their perception so as, as you see here at, this is one of the is this is one of the shots that I really like and it's one of my best shots I like I'm like yes the night scene yes the night scene because basically what I did with this shot I was like on my way home and as you see it changes color right there mm-hmm. and I'm flying in the clouds who who you know go uh flies in the clouds man who you know that that's true <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah so you know when you say i'm up in the clouds i'm up in the clouds you know i mean literally up in the clouds <laughs> with, with your drone and everything exactly so you know that's that's a different perspective nobody know what it looks like up in the clouds and what to look down upon the world or even shelby from this shot so you know i want to give people that uh that aerial point of view Okay, so boom. Say if I'm the mayor of Shelby, North Carolina, how could your drone footage benefit uh, me as the mayor for Shelby, North Carolina? I mean, it, it could benefit because it shows like many. Uh, it shows like different, per, like a different perspective of what Shelby looks like. Because right. as you see, we moved on here to Gastonia, and as you see, like I'm uh, flying here at Gaston College, where everything is like, yo. Gaston College look bigger than what it what it actually is. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, everything is just like, ooh, like, dang, I didn't know it was that big. It's like right. I mean, even me personally looking at this, I didn't think Gaston was I didn't think it was that big, but it, it plays a monumental. It has a monumental effect on on life purposes, but I didn't think physically that it was this large. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, people like people is like they they go. It's like oh, I'm just going up the street. Oh, the street is like what two two three hundred three four hundred feet away from the school. It's right. Like, you like that's not far, but yeah. But looking at it from an aerial uh, perspective, you like wow. You, you know, you're just like stunned in amazement. So you know what I'm saying. That, that's. What I what I definitely like about everything is you can you're able to see the clock tower, you're able to see the broadcast production technology uh, building. Uh, I believe it's the Craig Building where 91.7 FM is broadcast out of the Robinson Building, the library. You're able to see uh, a multiple amount of uh, uh, of buildings that they 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 have at Gaston where they offer a different amount different uh, education to to students at. What I what I like about that is that you get to see the the variety of things that Gaston College offers. Right, right. Like like what we see here in like downtown Gastonia. Okay, yeah. We see like okay, in the construction over there, they're building like Wendy's right there and you know, I'm flying right over the intersection, flying right past Planet Fitness over to the mall, you know. Everybody you can't get that mall shot. Like that mall shot is like very epic. Right. And what a lot of people don't realize is how how big the mall really is because you're normally going to a certain area and then you're parking and then you're just going to walk around the mall. But with the aerial shot that you're giving everybody with the drone footage, you're able to see, hey, you can go from this area to this area to this area. So, and you know, this fourth and the third, the ways you can get into the building, how fast it actually is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And as you see here, I'm going down like a uh, uh, urban area, so you can see like the like the houses, and it's like amazing. It's like oh, I didn't know there were this many houses on this street. <laughs> right. So 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 what what amazed you? Uh, what 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 most amazed you about the Gaston area as a whole? 
as gassing the area as a whole is like, oh, I well, like, so I'm thinking like, what's down this street? What's down this street? Right. So the drone allows me to actually go over to that street and see what's on that street. Like it could be used for like real estate and anything of that nature if you want to like tour buildings and stuff like that yeah you can actually do that or you just want to get like a, a bird's view or of what the uh, <clears throat> horizon looks like you know what I'm saying right <laughs> <laughs> and see what what I like about that is earlier today I was driving on the road and I went to an area I've lived in Kings Mountain pretty much all my life all right. And um, I'm going to different areas. You know, it's different roads that I've never been on before in my life. And, you know, I'm driving down this road and I'm like, hmm, it would be, you know, cool if I could get a, a preview of what's down this road before I actually go down this road myself. But I guess that take that will take away from the actual experience. But what I see from the drone footage is that I'm able to get a... A perception of where I'm gonna pretty much be going I may have to actually visually uh, decipher what I'm where I'm at but I'm able to get a bird's-eye view of the type of area and uh, terrain that I'm gonna be in exactly like in this shot right here it's like I'm using one of the active features is act is called active track where I actively put a marker on uh, my friend's car now in this shot right here is like I'm certain uh, flying over Rankin Lake as you see how beautiful the water is even though it it is dirty <laughs> it looks crisp though it, it's crisp clean though it's crispy clean but it's still dirty though so fresh and so clean clean <laughs> I'm so fresh and clean I'm just so <laughs> fresh so fresh and clean okay so where is this area that we're looking at right now this area is Rankin, uh, Rankin Lake area <clears throat> Yeah, as you see, it's like you see like the beautiful uh, water, even though it's still dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and this this shot right here is basic Belmont area where my friends has a military truck. Yes, he has a military truck that I drove mm -hmm. and which this is like we was actually uh, going to actually put up a tent as you see over there, <laughs> which was uh, uh a work in progress but it never actually got the progress was never actually finished so it was <laughs> pretty much like a startup program yeah like the startup program <laughs> <laughs> i can dug it i can dug it uh, so so let me ask you this what um what obstacles have you had to face with flying the drone versus being able to hold everything in hand and film it well, as a, as a verse to flying a drone and holding everything in hand, it's like you get you get like a more depth perception of what the world looks like. But at the same time, you got to imagine having uh, network connectivity with either like your uh, cell phone network or a Wi-Fi network. You right. got to take into play the <clears throat> the interference that's going on in like the surrounding area. Or if like you're in like the, a the five, frequency, pretty yeah, much. the frequency. Or if you're like in a five mile radius of an airport in which you can't fly a drone at, or because, or you gotta be mindful of the uh, power of the of uh, the uh, what is it? Power lines. Yeah, well, power lines and the electrical plants and right, stuff right, like right, that. right, yeah. right. So I mean, this is like is like close to Lake Wiley. Uh, Belmont area as you see beautiful trees like nothing but wooded area wooded area and see what I like about this is what most people don't don't understand I guess when you have the eye for photography or videography there are certain things that 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 only happen within the, a split second that you can only capture within that moment and like these scenes these scenes of this nature like you're you're touring charlotte uh, this is charlotte correct correct this is oh, charlotte like the area of charlotte like i can, it's a certain place in king's mountain i forget the road but you can stand at the top of the street and you can see all the way into charlotte like those area those views are significant to people and you know they may seem you know minute to other people but those are beautiful views Oh yes, it's like, cause this right here is Monroe, where I had a gig at to actually do some filming for a band. And 
as you see like the beautiful skyline is like like perfect sunset it's like oh like you went on a date with the sky or something. <laughs> right 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 <laughs> well uh, man um let me ask you this what was the most uh the most knowledgeable experience that you had from all of this because I seen you two went from I believe it was from the Shelby area, the 828 area all the way through the 704 area which is a, a vast area what was the most uh, monumental thing that you were able to capture and learn from yourself from this experience well like like I showed already in the video is like that the cloud shine basically actually getting footage up in the air in the clouds it's like that was like wow i have a shot that nobody else has right it's, like, it's hard for many people that to actually get because everybody is so is on the ground you know because of gravity of course mm -hmm. but got the shot that nobody else can get unless they have a drone and they actually think of it to actually get it right so you know so so what do you want mostly to to portray to I guess the community that you know from from all of this footage what is the 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 message that you want to portray to the community The message I want to portray to the community is given like get given your situation is like don't don't let it hinder you to get the shots that you want to get like go ahead and get that amazing shot of like a mountain top or or something as far as like a music video doing like some interesting drone shots with a music video so you pretty much want people to to expand beyond the norms and step outside the box like it really expands your creative horizon exactly okay okay now now what does uh be legend productions contribute to the community and able to ensure that that happens what be legend be legend productions it basically gives it gives the community uh at a at, at a very low price of 50 dollars an hour which is very reasonable we give to i i give to the community to to show them like oh this is what I can do this is what I can do this is what I can show you this is what is out there currently right now mm -hmm. so to actually expand expand your horizons and give like amazing shots and eye opener shots like that that's, that's all B Legend Productions want to do is to expand the horizons of people pretty much create new thoughts in people's minds. Exactly. I can dug it, my brother. I can dug it. Well, man, I don't want to hold you up too longer. I I appreciate the tour of the area. A lot of these shots I've never seen myself. A lot of these cities I've never been in. I've never been in the Monroe area. I've never really paid attention to the Forest City area, I believe it was. Uh, a lot of these areas I've never paid attention to, but from your drone footage, you've definitely helped me to be able to uh, to see a different a different vantage point of these cities and and this made me want to go to these different cities so i appreciate you for that all right no problem no problem anytime like anytime i need to fly a drone or you want to do a music video or anything like that you can hit me up on my facebook page at facebook.com facebook.com slash dragon angel 32 or you can hit me up on my youtube page brandon hunt all right all right Folks, there you have it. This is the UAP Radio Show, the Underground Apocalypse Podcast Show, where we take the underground world and turn it upside down to the surface. And we have just went on a special aerial drone tour with yours truly, B, B, excuse me, B Legend Productions, aka Brandon Hunt himself. Um, I want to give a big thanks to the uh, Gaston Community College and for everything that, that they have offered in order to teach us, in order to expand our, our knowledge and our horizons. Um, Brandon, is there anything you want to leave the people with? Be safe, have a good day, and always think outside the box. 
Well, there you have it. You tuned into the UAP radio show, the Underground Apocalypse podcast show, where we take the underground world and turn it upside down to the surface. Everybody have a peace and lovely day out there, and we'll talk to you again later. <laughs>